a beautiful sunny Saturday afternoon at Love's Field in Norman, Oklahoma. You're tuned into OU Softball presented by Bud Light as the Oklahoma Sooners are set to take on BYU. Offensive lineup for BYU has been pretty similar this weekend as this pitch is popped up and Kelly Maxwell takes care of it herself. And just like that, Agbayani. The so 1-2 is lined right back up the middle. And first hit here early for BYU as Bayerano is aboard with one out. Sophomore Lily Owens stands in. And ground ball could be a pair if it's turned quick enough. And just like that, Sooners out of the inning and hold BYU scoreless. And Coleman laces this to right field, but right at Aliyah Agbayani in what has been kind of the name of the game. The 2 2 to Jennings is going to loop in for a one out single. Jennings is going to try to turn it into a double, and she does. Aggressive base running from Tiare Jennings and Another blooper to the left side. Agbayani is going to glove it for the second out of the inning. Dear Destiny, it was a very quick turnaround. So Parker back in the box, ground ball to the right side. Tiare Jennings is going to move up to third, and Parker is retired to now place two outs. To the right side, and a misplayed ball. Jennings will score. And just like that, the Sooners are on top. BYU defense to get their pitcher out of an inning. Yeah. It's a good battle by Kenzie Hansen just finding her way on. I feel like she was trying to find that timing adjustment and get herself to be on time, but that was not a good pitch, just finding her way on. And I love that she's standing on second base. Good base running by Kinsey Hansen to get into scoring position with two outs for Alina Torres. Seeing a lot of innings for the Cougars this season. As she brings the 2-2 and laced up the middle, but center fielder Lily Owens takes care of it to minimize the damage. Lee had a tremendous season for BYU as this one's popped up on the infield. Sanders is underneath it and gonna hang tough with the sun for the first out here in the second. By you reaching base with their leadoff hitter as this is hit well to center field. Jada Coleman's on her way back and that ball's gonna get out of here. And just like that, BYU punching right back as we've seen this team do. And we've got ourselves a tie ball game here in the second. Again, a missed pitch. That was right down the middle. And these hitters are so aggressive. They are going to take their hacks. That's just a big mistake by Kelly Maxwell. Needing to get off the plate as this has popped up to left field and Riley Boone is gonna take care of it for the second out of the inning. As the Boone. 2-2 is skied high to right field. Cassidy Pickering takes care of it. And BYU, something moving for the Sooners. So this is popped up in foul territory and Maddie Udall recovers and makes struggle just a little bit in finding the right timing. And this is going to bloop right at shortstop Agbayani. And Brito ahead of the off speed there in two. And the 3 0 to Sanders misses inside. And much like what we saw in previous, the Osage Nation in attendance as Boone lays down a bunt. It's going to stay fair. And Boone beats it out. He's going to call that. We just got to see that be consistently called throughout the rest of this game. Absolutely. 
3-1 popped up to right field. Aliyah Agbayani should take care of it. Dan Zinn went one for three in game two with a run scored. And is sat down by Alyssa Burrito to bring up Macy Simmons. And that pitch that she's breaking in and out, she's really just spinning a rise ball. And there's the rise ball right there to get Macy Simmons through outs. Don't want to get any momentum into that BYU dugout. 3-1 misses outside, and it is a two-out walk. And Bejarano takes the pitch, and Agbayani takes off to steal second and into scoring position in. <laughs> Maxwell gets it done with the big-time strikeout. Inheriting a 3-0 count to Tiare Jennings here. And first pitch misses low to deliver the lead off walk to Jennings. And Agbayani on the plates and Maddie Morrow, or excuse me, Haley Morrow, who started behind the plate is now at short as Parker. 2-2, right at Maddie Udall. Everyone retreats safely, but Udall. 1-2 is gonna get past Udall. Jennings rounds third, but is gonna stay put. And the single by Torres loads him up. Round ball. Ava is gonna get the force play at the plate. Not enough time to roll a pair, but huge out for Agbayani and Looper to right field and it's gonna get down in front and that'll score two. Alyssa Brito coming up clutch with two outs to make it three to one Sooners. And it doesn't always have to be a line shot, it doesn't have to be a bomb, but finding a way to get the job done. And Brito just making her adjustments. We felt like she was struggling just a little bit throughout the weekend, trying to find her timing. You really see her work and make that adjustment, trying to go opposite fields, trying to be just a little bit later in the box. RBI on the season. This is hit well to right field, but Agbayani is going to be underneath it to get the third out for her sister, who's in the circle. We go to the fourth. Out the inning. We've got to make sure that she is pounding the zone. Good start there as the ground ball takes Sydney Sanders off the bag on the throw from Alyssa Brito, but Sid Sanders hanging tough as we've seen her do all season. <laughs> Only only given up two hits so far. Has walked one, struck out a pair. As this pitch is hit well to center field, but Jada Coleman says no fly zone. A two run bottom of the second with a one, two, three, or excuse me, bottom of the third with a one, two, three, fourth inning. And it looks like she may have done it as Brito fires it across. And Maxwell retires the side as in game two and is going to start her outing here today with another walk to roll it back over to Jada Coleman. Shows bunt and it's a beauty. And Coleman is going to get thrown out, but here comes Riley Boone to take advantage of nobody covering third base and great heads up base running by the senior. I love to see that. Taking first to third opportunities on a perfectly executed bus. Leaving runners stranded and trying to do it here again in the fourth. As this ground ball is snagged by Kamoku, Riley Boone not able to go anywhere and BYU. 2-2 ground ball right at Kamoku and Mares leaves another stranded. That is six left on base for OU. 
OU up three to one. Three, two. Another check swing, but a called third strike. Maxwell picks up her third K of the day. BYU does not let much go by. Ground ball, Burrito's gonna cut it off and fire across to take care of the second out of the inning. And looking to retire her seventh batter in a row. Jennings fires it across and that'll be seven in a row. Retired for Kelly Maxwell. Lots of runs are being put on the board. And Hansen gets her first hit of the day. As she rounds first, is going to stretch this into a double as she slides in safely. And Hansen has a leadoff double to start the fifth. Left six runners on base here today. This is hit well to center. It's going to burn. Owens out in center. Maya Bland will score. And it's an RBI single to make it four to one. Alina Torres coming up clutch. Being a way to be a staple in this lineup. Seeing that ball up in the zone. Just getting her barrel on plane with that pitch. And center fielder Lily Owens. And Destiny, you played the outfield. The ground ball right at Udall. Could be a pair but not enough time. Avery Hodge is thrown out at second for the first out of the inning here. When you think about that, three of those have come in the last week and a half as this one is gonna get out of here in a hurry. Alyssa Brito have a day. It's a two run shot for the senior to make it five to one. Oklahoma, or excuse me, six to one. Oklahoma. Numbers aren't my strong suit. It's <laughs> to one here in the fifth. And that pitch was piped. I mean, you cannot afford to throw that to Alyssa Brito, especially when she's trying to work herself out of the at-bats that she had previously this weekend. She wants to be better. She was making those adjustments. She's trying to find your Saturday night pitcher. I kind of took a turn when you lose four of them. And could have do something. It popped up to the right side. Ali Agbayani takes care of it and it's two outs for Jada Coleman. Who's have struggled to work ahead. And it's a four pitch walk to Jada Coleman to bring up Jennings. With runners at first and second, two outs. And misses upstairs. And it's back to back walks to load the bases for Ella Parker. 2 2 grounded up the middle. What a play by Agbayani, but no one's paying attention. And that'll plate one. Agbayani to run by keeping that ball. big time keeping that ball on the dirt really hard hit by Ella Parker Agbayani making a great play up the middle covering so much ground ready to make a play at second base coaches frantically adjusting their defense and it's a ground ball to second Kamoku makes the play and BYU gets out of it to leave three stranded but not before the Sooners put up four to make it 7-1 OU. Holding BYU to two hits so far. One of those a big one, but really the only blemish on the day for Maxwell is the home run back in the second for BYU. As this is laced into right field. Bennett is going to move up to second base, but chalk up another hit for I. Two one is lifted to the right side. Hodge is on her way back, but Hannah Court calls her off to make the play for the first out of the inning. 
And ground ball, this should be two. But the throw takes Sydney Sanders off the bag. And Owens is safe at first on the season. And ground ball is underneath the glove of Brito. Not enough to score on Bayani, but the inning extended. That kind of took Kinsey Hansen away from the bag. Just some small things. And one swing of the bat from Maddie Udall gets the Sooners out of it. Scoreless for BYU. Fair share of mistakes here today as well as this has popped up to the right side and it's going to fall in front of Agbayani. Big turn from Avery Hodge. But she'll retreat back to first base and it's a leadoff single. Ground ball up the middle. Kamoku flips it. Agbayani tries to turn two. And there's a pair for BYU. And Brito staying hot at the plate. Make it a three for four day for the senior. <laughs> that was an extremely hard hit. Rolling the pace um, in the way that they go about things as that gets away and Brito is going to move up to second base on the wild pitch. But this is and the 3-0 misses upstairs and it is a four pitch walk to Sydney Sanders to bring up Riley Boone. And laced right at Udall, but she will glove it and BYU strands two more runners. Final call for. And Kamoku gets her first hit of the day into the left field corner. And it's a leadoff double. Great command of those knee high. And speaking of commands, <laughs> big time pitch to sit down Morrow on the Big 12 Conference at scores and games that are wrapping up. We got a final in the Oklahoma State Iowa State game. The so 1 1 is hit well to center field. Jada Coleman is back at the warning track, and that ball's going to get out of here. Aliyah Agbayani, a two run shot here in the seventh to breathe some life into BYU and make it seven to three. And you can't defend walks, you can't defend a home run, and that's what we've seen here today. And you cannot leave that ball right down the middle, up in the zone. That's just a pitch that can be sent out to Show what they can do. The one, two, swing and a miss. Kelly Maxwell sits her down and it. Maxwell brings the two, two. Ground ball up the middle. Hodge is going to have to be quick. And not in time. Agbayani beats it out and what will be ruled an infield hit. And then. Strike three, Sooners win. Kelly Maxwell. Complete game win. And Sooners get right on this Saturday. Into conference play and potentially postseason. There's a lot of things that they can work on, but I did like that they were a little bit more aggressive offensively. Saw some adjust adjustments being made, and then I loved what Kelly Maxwell brought to the circle today.